The Mobile PERS Personal Emergency Response System is designed to monitor client safety and to provide access to emergency services. The device is available anywhere, anytime, both indoors and outdoors, anywhere in the continental United States. The mobile purse is activated by pressing the telephone icon on the front of the device. The speaker and microphone are built directly into the single lightweight unit that can be worn around the neck or clipped to a belt. It is water resistant and can be worn in the shower but not submerged in a bathtub. The device needs to be charged once every two months to maintain optimum battery life. To charge the mobile PERS device, simply insert the micro USB cable included with the device into the micro USB slot of the mobile PERS. Then plug the power adapter into any standard electrical outlet. Please leave the unit plugged in for two hours to receive a full charge. To install a mobile PERS, hold down the telephone icon on the front of the device for three seconds. Once activated, the device will make a buzzing noise, then will begin emitting beeps, after which it will ring like a phone. Once the operator connects, he will speak to you directly through the device. Tell the operator you are testing the system and have them read back the name, address, and phone number associated with the account they are viewing in the system. I will now demonstrate how to test a mobile PERS. Hello, this is Medscope America. Mr. Miller, do you need help? Hello, my name is Derwin. I'm an installer with Medscope. My password is Scope1, and I'm testing Mr. Miller's PERS unit. Can you please verify the consumer's full name, address, and telephone number, please? Derwin, we can hear you loud and clear. Uh, the address we have on file is 111 Magic Lane, Dover, Delaware, 19904. Telephone number is 302-555-1212. Perfect. That's exactly what I have. Thank you. Great. Is there anything else we can help with? No, that'll be it. Okay. Have a good day. We'll disconnect. And that is how you test a mobile PERS. Once again, it is imperative that you speak with a monitoring center agent as part of the testing process.